Night Prayer Before You Sleep It is a nice thing to always commit your life and that of your family and loved ones to God's hands and care at all times particularly before you go to bed. This is anchored on the fact that until the Lord protects the city, they labor in vain that keep watch over the city. The Word of God is a testimonial to this in Psalms 127 verse 1. It says, Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it, except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. Hence the Bible entreats us in Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. As I pray with you this hour, your security is ensured, and the Lord will perfect everything concerning you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Pray along with me as I pray. But before then, are you new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our prayer channel. Subscription link in the description box. God bless you. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, King of Glory, in the name of Jesus Christ I thank you. Thank you for the gift of life and for your protection of my life, businesses and everything about me. Thank you for the business of the day. Thank you for how you guarded me and guided me all through the day. Thank you for your deliverances and all-round protections. Dearest Lord, now I want to retire to bed for sleep and night rest. But Father Lord, it is you that can guarantee true rest and sound sleep. Therefore dear Lord, as you have guarded and protected me during the day, dear Heavenly Father, I pray and ask O Lord, that you guard and protect me also even now as I prepare to go to bed and even when I sleep. Send your angels Lord I pray you, to be on the guard and watch over my body and soul. To deliver me from the fowlers and every evil that operates and is being carried out at and during the night, when men slept. Lord, I understand through your word, that night is the time that the devil and his demons sow their ugly and evil seeds. As your word makes me understand in Matthew chapter 13 verse 25 when it says, But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat, and went his way. Therefore dear Father Lord, in the name of your Son, my Lord Jesus Christ, I ban and cast out any devil that may come to sow tares, or any evil seed in my life while I sleep. In the name of Jesus Christ, let fire, thunder and brimstones from the heavens destroy, cripple and scuttle their plots and plans. In the name of Jesus Christ, let their plans and evil intents perish with them. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, as your word stated in Psalms 121 verse 4, that you never sleep nor slumber. Psalms 121 verse 4. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Thank you dearest Lord for keeping awake for me to sleep. Therefore dear Lord, I ask, to ensure that I sleep sound, devoid of any harassment and molestation of the devil and his demons. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, surround me and my family tonight with walls of impregnable and impenetrable fire O Lord, to bar and ban any devil from accessing my abode. In the name of Jesus Christ, Dear Lord, send your angels and give them charge to watch over me, my household and my family. Just as your word promises in Psalms 91 verse 11 saying, For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash thy foot against a stone. That even if I shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon, I shall not be harmed. Because I have made you, the Most High my refuge and my fortress, I have put all my trust in you. Therefore dear Lord, ensure I sleep sound, hale and healthy tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ I pray. In whichever way they may come to attack me tonight O Lord, let them be defeated and put to flight by your angels. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even as your word says in Deuteronomy 28 verse 7. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face, they shall come out against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. Lord, let this be my experience and story tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be all out unto me according to Psalms 91 which says that, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. 
Father Lord, keep me tonight in your secret place, where I abide under your shadow of divine security and protection. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be that I can confidently say of thee Lord, that you are my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I will trust. Deliver me Lord from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. Cover me with your feathers, and under your wings let your truth be my shield and buckler. So that I will not need to be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. So that even if a thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, it shall not come nigh me. Only with my eyes shalt I behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because I have made you the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, my habitation. Let no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling. Give your angels charge over me O Lord, to keep thee in all my ways. So that they shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. That it shall be that even if I tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon they shall have no powers over me. Because I have set my love upon you O Lord. Therefore deliver me from every evil, and set me on high, because I hath known thy name. That it shall be that whenever I shall call upon thee, you will answer me, and come to my rescue and be with me even in trouble, to deliver me, and honor me with long life and satisfy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, even as I sleep tonight, visit me with dreams and revelations of how to excel and come out of every hook of life. Visit me with a fresh impartation of the spirit of wisdom like Daniel so that I will wake up being able to solve puzzles and difficult questions of life. In the name of Jesus Christ, rain down thunder, fire and brimstones upon any devil or demons that may come to press or attack me with sicknesses, diseases or weakness to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you Father Lord for answering me, for in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now I pray for you. Everlasting Father King of Glory, I bring these listeners who want to retire to bed for the night before your throne of grace. Father, grant them the true rest that they desire, and cause their sleep tonight to be sound, peaceful and restful. In the name of Jesus Christ, protect them by all means from every front. In the name of Jesus Christ, let none of their fears come near them even when they sleep O Lord. Let everything about them be perfected tonight while they sleep. In the name of Jesus Christ. Send your angels to go far and to retrieve and recover anything belonging to them that might have been stolen, damaged or destroyed by the enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ, perform on them a perfect surgery and healing O Lord, so that they wake up at the break of the day with a fresh bubbling health, with full of strength like in their youthful days. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them wake up with fresh zeal and passion to serve you O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, Restore to them as you promised, the joy of their salvation and renew your spirit within them. Restore also unto them as you promised in Joel chapter 2 verse 25. The years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, your great army which you sent among them. Let them eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise your name for having dealt wondrously with them, and let them never be ashamed again. In the name of Jesus Christ, Cause them through your benevolence to know that you O Lord is always with them and in their midst, that you are the Lord their God, and that there is none else, and that they shall never go through shame again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you dear Father Lord for answer, for in the previous name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team will appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.